Hi, this is Steven, and in this video, I'm going to explain why you need a project folder using Maya 2020, and I'm going to demonstrate how you create a new project in Maya, and then I'll go through the process of setting a project and opening an existing scene file. Most often, when creating an animated project, or even modeling, or rigging, and texturing a character in Maya, you want to create a Maya project. And this is showing my project directory right now of a project set up in Maya, where you might have some image files, you might even have a, you know, test images that you have rendered. It will have an assets folder, which is very specific to Maya and uh, how they're used. There's an autosave folder, so if you set up autosaves, it's going to autosave into that folder. And of course, all the scenes will go into the scenes directory. Uh, there's also an incremental save folder, so if you set up incremental saves, it's going to save in that folder as well. Also, you can put audio in here, and the whole point of the project directory is to make one directory where all your files are kept. It, it can contain reference files, other files that are linked to your scene, texture images, all, you know, a lot of other files. It also contains cache folder files that you might need to transport. So that project keeps these, all these things together in the same location, and you can move that entire folder structure and use that, say, on a different machine, or if you, you know, are working on a team, you can use that at a server location and then open up Maya to that server location and use the same folder structure. These instructions describe creating and setting projects in the most recent versions of Maya, and uh, this process sort of changed back when it was Maya 2012. So you'll want to create a project in Maya every time you create a new project to create this folder structure. Then when you are switching projects, you want to set a new project and work on that, you know, every time you're switching between projects. Instead of just going to your scenes directory and, and just double clicking a new project, what I want to do is actually set my project folder after it's been created and then open my scene from within that and any textures or any references are just going to be automatically pulled in because you set the project first. So I'm going to go to Maya and I'm going to show you how to first create a project and then I'm going to go through the steps of showing you how to set that. So all I'm going to do is go to file and then go down to project window and in the project window, you notice generally it'll have whatever previous project was set as the current project. But I'm going to go ahead and click the new button. And when I go to new, it's going to, you know, put in the default text saying new project. And I'm going to enter whatever project name this is. So I don't need to change it right now for me. For right now, I'm just going to leave it as new project. And then I'm going to click this folder icon and it's going to pull up the select location window. Now, I don't want to put this location into an existing folder structure. So what it generally is going to do is open the project directory that was previously set. So I'm going to go up one level in this directory that I created for Maya, for my projects, and I'm going to select this directory. I don't need to name it down here. I'm just going to click select. Now what it's going to do is it's going to make a new project folder called new project inside of this directory. All these folders down there, all these names down here, it's going to create a lot of these folders. You'll notice that there are secondary project locations for other locations. But these are the basic folders. If I wanted to modify them, I could actually change the names here, but I'm just going to go with the default and I'm going to click accept. When I do that, it's, it's going to create this folder structure and allow me to set that project and save a project. If I decided to save this scene file, I can go ahead and save scene. It's going to bring up this save as dialog. I just go ahead and name it. I'm just going to call it scene for now. And then I'm going to make sure it's a Maya ASCII. Uh, I'll get into the, the differences between Maya ASCII here and Maya binary. ASCII uh, saves it as code, so I could actually go in and modify that code later, but it makes a larger file. Binary makes a smaller file and it's compressed, but I couldn't just open the file in a text editor and modify the code that creates my scene. So if I ever wanted to go back and modify it, if I, for whatever reason, I wanted to change the code in there, if I know enough about Maya and, and the MEL, the Maya embedded language, I could go in and actually modify that. But I'm going to save it as Maya ASCII and click Save As. When I do that, it, you can see down here that it's save the scene.ma 
in that scenes directory, right? I didn't even have to choose what directory to save it in. So if I go back to project window, you're going to see it's in the new project Maya is set. If I wanted to switch to a different project from the one that I just created, I can go to file. I can go to open scene. You'll notice that it takes me right to the scenes directory of that project directory that I just created, but I want to set it to something different. So I'm going to go down to where it says set project. It's going to open this new window where I can select the new project. So I'm going to go to this project that I created called setting projects. All I have to do is select it once. I can go inside of it, but I want to make sure that I don't select any other folder because then when I click set, it'll make that my project folder. So I'm going to go back up one level where it says setting projects. That's my project directory. And I'm going to click set. When I do that, it's going to automatically show all the folders for that project in this open dialog box. If I go to scenes, you'll notice that I have that project or a scene file that I'd created previously in that scenes directory. I can also look in other directories that are here if I so chose. Generally, what I do is I put all my scenes, even referenced files in this scenes directory. So they're all pulled in together. So all I have to do is go to that new project. I'm going to click open. It's going to open this file that I had previously saved. And this is a now a, a project directory. And what it's going to do is it's going to pull in any kind of references, any image files, anything that's attached to this project. If you just double click your file on your hard drive, it will open that file. But if there's anything attached to it, it's going to be asking you, where is this? Where is that? So you want to make sure you set projects before you open it. I'm going to go back and I go to open scene. And again, I'm going to go down to set project. And in the set project window, I'm going to choose new project, click set. It takes me back to the original project or that first project that I created. I can then just click scenes. I can click it here. I can double click here, but I can just click it once here. And it takes me right to that and I can open scenes. And that's how you can switch between multiple projects and make sure that all your files are associated with that project. I hope this helps and good luck.